About 35 years ago, I was working at uh, AK Steel, better known as Cliff now, and <clears throat> I was running the big um, uh, slab furnace, and we couldn't leave the job until we get a buddy. Well, my buddy was um, late that night because it was uh, Wednesday, and uh, he was a real bad to drink alcohol. And so I knew where he was at. Uh, he always stops at the bowling alley and, and he gets about half pooted before he comes into work. Well, remember now, I used to be an alcoholic myself, and but I got saved in 1971. So I told my buddy that working with me, I said, you, um, you take over the controls and I'm gonna go hunt uh, my buddy that supposed to relieve me. And when I find him, I'm going to ball him out. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. You know. And so I took off, and, and directly I looked up, and there he came a staggering across the railroad tracks. And I had it in my mind I was going to jump on him. Well, when I got almost to him, the Holy Spirit said to me as plain as day, if it wasn't for Jesus, you'd be the same way. Instead of me a cussing him out or bawling him out or whatever I was supposed to do to him, guess what? I hugged his neck. And he broke down and wept like a baby and asked me to forgive him. And God gave me this song. If it wasn't for Jesus, I'd be that way. If it wasn't for Jesus, you'd still be in your sins. If it wasn't for Jesus, I'd be that way too. 